All right, here we begin our videos for chapter six. And chapter six is all about different kinds of chemical reactions, okay? So when we describe a chemical reaction, we use what's called a reaction equation. And in our reaction equations, the things that are on the left are always referred to as reactants. And the things that are on the right are always referred to as products. Okay, and the arrow in between, we say that's yields, right? So it's sort of like when I talk about this, if I were to say this reaction in words, I would say that two hydrogen atom molecules plus one oxygen molecule yields two water molecules. Okay, so in our chemical reaction, the coefficients are the things in front. Okay, and that means that I multiply everything behind it by that number. Because that tells me that I have two H2 molecules. Okay, or a total of four hydrogen atoms. Right? No, subs no coefficient means is an implied one. So there's one molecule of O2, and then over here in the products, I have two molecules of H2O. Now the subscripts, right, we've been dealing with subscripts when, when we're talking about chemical nomenclature in chapter five. I can never change the subscripts. Clean this up a little bit. So the subscripts, we never change subscripts. Okay, that's very important. For example, H2O is water. If I change subscripts, let's say if I change it to H2O2, that's hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so by changing subscripts, I change the chemical itself. So when we manipulate these equations, we never change subscripts. Okay, that's very, very important. So looking at this particular um, sort of graphic, okay, and how it describes our chemical reaction, take a look at the container on the left. And in the container on the left, if I count them, there are eight H2s there, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there are four O2s. All right, and on the right-hand container, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight water molecules. Okay, so if I divide everything by two, or excuse me, by four, then I get two H2 plus one O2 makes two H2Os, which is what our chemical reaction is. Okay, so the simplest possible form is what we're after. Okay, so the lowest set of numbers that maintains the right ratio. There are twice as many hydrogens as there are oxygens. The same number of hydrogens and waters, twice as many waters as there are oxygens. Okay, so let's take a look at this idea. So a balanced equation has the same number and type of atoms on both sides of the arrow. So over here on the left, I have four iron atoms, four Fe. Over here on the right, remember if I said the coefficient multiplies everything behind it. So four times two irons makes four irons on the right. On the left, I have three times two oxygens 
So there are six oxygens, oxygen atoms on the left. And on the right, I take that two and I multiply everything through. So I've got six oxygens on the right, six oxygen atoms. Okay, so we use coefficients. We use these numbers in front to make sure that they're the same number and type of each thing on both sides of the arrow. Okay, so let's take a look at how that would work. So let's write a balanced equation to describe this change. Okay, so each of these molecules on the left, they have two hydrogens, three oxygens, and one carbon. Okay, so I'm going to say that that molecule is H2CO3. That's bicarbonate, or excuse me, carbonic acid. <laughs> Learn your nomenclature, Dr. Lyon. All right, so H2CO3, and there are three of them. All right, and then on the right-hand side, I have three CO2 molecules. So each one of these is one carbon and two oxygens, and I have three of them. So I say three CO2s. And then I have also three H2Os. Now let's count the number of atoms of each type on both sides. So remember the three in front, I multiply everything behind it by three. So there's three times two hydrogens. So there's six hydrogens on the left. Three times one carbons. So three carbons. And then three times three oxygens, so nine oxygens. Let's look at what's on the right-hand side. So let's look at that CO2 first. So three times one carbon, there's three carbons. Three times two oxygens, so there's six oxygens there. Now let's look at the waters. So I have three times two hydrogens, so there's six hydrogens, and three times one oxygen, so three more oxygens. So all together, I have nine oxygens on the right. So six hydrogens, three carbons, and nine oxygens on both sides of the equation. Now, in the end, I want to make this equation be the simplest possible version. So if I have 3, 3, and 3, I'm going to reduce that down to just 1, 1, and 1. Okay, let's try again. So same scenario, slightly different type of picture. But let's count how many um, of these aluminum chloride molecules. So I've got one, two of these AlCl3s. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six waters, six H2Os. And then on the right-hand side, Looks like I have two of these aluminum hydroxides. And one, two, three, four, five, six of the HCLs. All right, so take a look at these numbers. I've got a two and a six, a two and a six. So if I divide everything by two, then I end up with a one of these, three of these, one of these, and three of these. Okay, I want the simplest possible version. Whoops. 
we're going to leave that one there. <laughs> okay, now let's check to see if everything is balanced. Okay, on the left hand side, I have one aluminum, I have three chlorines, I have six hydrogens, three times two hydrogens, and three times one oxygen, so three oxygens. So on the right hand side, I have one aluminum. Now our, our OH, it's in parentheses with a three behind it, so that means that I have three OHs there. So that means that I've got three oxygens there and three hydrogens there. And then my last piece, the 3HCl, that means three more hydrogens and three chlorines. So three plus three makes six hydrogens on the right. So one aluminum, three oxygens, three chlorines, and six hydrogens. The same number and type of each element on both sides. All right, so let's balance this equation. Now an easy way to go about this is to make a list and um, on each side and say how many of each element there are, okay? So let's start on the left. So currently on the left, I have hydrogens, I have one. Chlorines, I have one. Manganese, I have one. And oxygens, I have two. On the right hand side, let's see, hydrogens, I've got two. Chlorines, I've got two there and two more over here on the right. So there's currently four chlorines over there. Manganese, I currently have one. And oxygens, I currently have one. So I'm gonna put some coefficients in here, somewhere in this equation, to make sure that I have the same number on both sides. Okay, so starting with hydrogens, right now on the left I have one, on the right I have two. So if I put a two in front of that hydrogen, or that HCl, that changes my number of hydrogens to two and my number of chlorines to two. Okay, so let's look at our chlorines now. So right now I've got two chlorines on the left, four on the right. So now I'm gonna change that coefficient instead of a two, let's change it to a four and try again. So that'll change my hydrogens to four and my chlorines to four. So these Balancing is kind of like a puzzle. You just have to, to play with the numbers until you get the same number on both sides. Okay, so let's come back to look at our hydrogen. So now I have four on the left and two on the right. So if I put a two in front of the water, that gives me four hydrogens and two oxygens because I multiply everything behind the coefficient by that number. Okay, so let's check our numbers. So I've got four hydrogens, four hydrogens, four chlorines, four chlorines, one manganese, one manganese, two oxygens, two oxygens. So the question says write the coefficients separated by commas. So if I were to do that part, I would say four is my first coefficient, then one, then one, then two, than one, okay, because if there's no coefficient, a one is implied. Let's check our work. So we have a four, a one, a one, a two, and a one, and this should be an arrow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video right here, and then we'll pick it up with question number four on our next video.